few days ago, it was requested that I do a bullet journal header slash banner tutorial. I'm not an expert at banners, but I have learned a few simple ones, so I thought I'd show you quickly how to do them in case some of you were wondering. All you'll need for today or for these banners is your bullet journal, a black pen, I'm using Faber Castell's black pen in small, the, the Pit Artist pen, and if you cannot draw straight lines, then a ruler, because I don't know about you, but if I try and draw straight lines without a ruler, things go crazy really quickly. So with that being said, I'm just gonna get started with banner number one. I'll start off with one at the top here. And I'm just gonna start with a straight line. And then I follow up with another line parallel to it. Quickly connect those. Now the next part that ends the banner is I think the part that intimidates most people, but Trust me, it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. The most important tip that you need to keep in mind is that the ends of your banner have to be the same width as your rectangle. So my rectangle is four dots wide, so I'm gonna make sure the ends of my banner are also four dots wide. How I like to do it is I bring my ruler one set of dots below my rectangle. I come in one dot and obviously go down one dot. And that's where I'm gonna start my line. That's gonna go outwards like this. Gonna draw a click here. It doesn't really matter how long you have it, as long as you kind of stay consistent with it. Again, end of the rectangle, one dot in, I go down and one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna connect this dot with this dot. And now it's time to do the top end of the banner, which again, like I said, it has to be the same width as my rectangle. So this is four dots, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I draw the top part so that this line and this line match up. And now it's just time for the finishing touches. I usually like to just do a simple triangle here at the ends. And last but not least, we're gonna connect this rectangle, the end of the original rectangle you made, with the bottom left uh, point of the flap. So it's just a line right here that you're gonna create. And you can leave it at that, or you can take it a step further and color in those triangles that you just made, those two mini triangles, because technically they're the back of the ribbon, so if you really wanna make it look, you know, next level, then uh, you can add a color there, or you can even color it in black, or do little lines. Today I think I'm gonna fill it in with one of my Tombos, and I'm going to use my Tombow in the color 443. Now, if you're wondering how to make the flaps instead of like the ends coming out at the bottom of the rectangle, if you want them to be at the top, uh, then all you would have to do is instead of like when I started that step of creating my lines one dot below my rectangle, you would just basically do it, uh, do the same steps, but you would do it one dot above your rectangle. So let me demonstrate that quickly right now. We go one dot in and up and draw that line. We go one dot in and up and go outwards left. Another banner I really like to do also starts off with a rectangle and essentially all you are doing is creating kind of like a shadow of another rectangle behind it. For this, I don't go completely one set of dots above my rectangle, I just go about halfway and I don't start completely at the end, I go a little bit in as well, hopefully this makes sense once I start doing it, but I think I'm happy with that positioning and I'm just going to draw my line and I'm gonna extend it just outside my original rectangle. And then we do the other side right here, and again, we're gonna bring it down, but not completely to the end, or to the same length of my original rectangle, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect this dot and this dot, and bada boom, bada bing, you've got like this shadowy uh, thing going on here, and usually what I'll do is I'll fill in this back rectangle with some diagonal lines. Another banner I like to do is basically the same as this one up here, but it's diagonal, and there's not just one main rectangle, there's two. So I'm gonna show you how I do that as well. So as you can see, I made my first diagonal rectangle here, and the way I did it was I chose a dot, I made a little point, and instead of going straight across and making my dot right here, which is what you would expect when making a normal rectangle, I instead brought it one dot up. 
and then I connect those two lines. Obviously, once you get the hang of this, you don't need to do the dots, but when you're starting out, I find that to be a little helpful. Then I join the two rectangles together by starting at the top left of the bottom rectangle and just drawing a diagonal line to meet the top rectangle, and then going to the bottom right of the top rectangle and doing it or drawing a diagonal line to connect it with the bottom rectangle. As you can see, I used a pencil to kind of etch out the angle of the ends of my ribbon um, because it's a little trickier than when doing these uh, because you're working on an angle so you kind of have to eyeball it a bit. Once you have those lines you can connect here and here. Just make your little triangles and again you're going to connect this dot with this dot and this dot with this dot. Now for this banner, I'm going to use my Tombow in the color 725 to color in all of the shadowing areas of this banner, which are these little triangles at the end and the little diagonal um, that we created in the middle. And there you have that. Again, you can choose to do what I did and fill that in with a color or color it in completely black or do some fun line work, whatever you want to do, these are completely customizable. Another banner I really like to do starts off with a square or what looks like it will be a square or a rectangle, but instead uh, will become, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these this final line come out into like a triangle formation. So let me just demonstrate that. I'm going to bring it down about three dots here. I'm just going to put my dot in the middle so I know what's going on and where to connect my diagonal lines. And you could leave it just like that, but something that a lot of people do and I like doing as well is adding like a little pole on either end so it looks like the banner is being hung up. If you want to go really super simple, you can just draw a rectangle and then do little dots by each corner to kind of look like nails and I even will sometimes add some green. Just go really lightly, barely adding any pressure. You can even do the same thing but instead of the dots you can make little stitches so it looks like you almost sewed your banner onto your page. Another banner I really like doing starts off with just drawing a simple line. Now technically this isn't really like a banner but it is like a header or something you can use for a title. But for this, you do need to know exactly what you're going to say in here. So I'm going to use the word banner, and banner is a six letter word, so I'm going to add one more to it, uh, and that's obviously seven. And then I'm going to draw seven vertical lines uh, in different lengths. I'm going to add a little ball tip or end to each of the lines. And then uh, obviously you've got like six spaces here, so each space is for one letter of the word that you're going to write. On this page I'm going to continue doing some more, not necessarily banners, but just like things you can use for titles or headers uh, and that sort of thing. A common one I see on the internet is just doing a little curved line or two curved lines and that leaves a space here for you to write whatever you want. A lot of people will use this for dates or something like that. Um, and I like to do like these little leafs, that's what I call them, and I just do like little infinity things or the number eights. You can also do arrows. Sometimes I also like to make sticky notes and the way I do that is by making a square but instead of like connecting this bottom right corner here, if you make a diagonal line connecting them and then from that diagonal make a triangle. Sometimes if I'm really feeling like being lazy, I'll just make two lines at the top and two lines at the bottom and write whatever I need to in the middle. You can do the same thing with stitches instead of two lines or even dots or circles. Just use the dots as your guide. Another thing you can do is make like a text box or a speech bubble and essentially all you need to do is create a rectangle or a square, whatever you want. Um, and instead of connecting it completely at the end here, you leave like a little gap so that you can make your little tip. To create the little end, I'm just going to start off by creating a dot as a reference and this dot I put or I place uh, one dot down and half a dot to the left of the end of this line right here. And then I'm just going to simply connect this dot with both ends. Ta-da! Pretty simple. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. If you want to see 
um, more header, banner, divider tutorials, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know you guys are interested in that. I wanted to keep this video simple to help out any of you who are new to bullet journaling and just to show you that even the more um, complex looking banners, once you break them down into simple steps, are really not that difficult to draw. And all of these are pretty customizable as well. Leave any requests that you have in the comment section below. Also, reach out to me on social media with pictures of any banners that you end up doing from this tutorial or any banners you'd like to see me uh, show you how to do in future videos. And I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye everyone.